introduced NETCAM 2.0, a little bit different than the original NETCAM. To us, the big thing with NETCAM 2.0 is that it has replaceable front glass, much easier to replace glass. Okay, so here we'll get started and we'll show you how we're going to hook it up. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get our clamp in place on the back of the net. roughly in place, not tighten it down yet. We're going to take a little locking washer and what we're going to do is we're going to put this all together. We've got the cute little level that we included in our package. We're going to try to make sure it, in each step as we go along that it's as close to level as possible. So now that we're somewhere in the right ballpark, I'm going to use one of these things and just tighten up my clamps a bit. Notice for the frame of 2.0, we've got a little drawer in the back here that's going to help you get to the digital cards between periods. It's just a simple Velcro covering here just to keep some water out. And it's just for access between periods. In this case, we're using a D3 uh, with a Nikon lens. Oh, one other thing you'll notice that we have here, no skid padding. Just to help out a little bit, uh, when you put the camera in, you want to make sure that it's in here nice and firmly, and the no skid padding helps out a bit. So we're just going to get this into position so that the front glass just barely misses touching it when you put it against, put it onto the net cam. We're using uh, pocket wizards to trigger. You'll notice also that everything is taped down. The camera is taped down, the lens is taped down, everything involved is taped down. We're using, as well, a Stay Awake cable. Pocket Wizard makes them, there's another company out there that makes them. And what that'll do is keep the camera awake at all times, so there'll be no delay. If the camera falls asleep and you trip the button, there'll be no delay. Now what I usually do is I use a lot of tape here, and you'll see that uh, what's included in your package is some of this great plastic based tape, some of this stuff. Now some of the guys, what they'll do with their remotes is they'll tuck them underneath with the antenna going sideways. Definitely don't place it in the back. If you place the remote in the back here, you have to realize that You've got all the metal here, you've got the metal in the post, and you might lose signal. So what I like to do is keep it nice and close near the front, and quite sloppily run a piece of plastic tape around it to hold it in place. Okay. Doesn't look great, but it works. You'll see with the new faceplates uh, we've made, We've got regular Velcro up top for the protective cover, and we have dual lock Velcro at the bottom so that these things will snap right into place. Okay, so it's snapped right into place. Protective cover can go right up on top. Normally what I've been doing is I've just tucked the, tucked the antenna in just like that. That's really it. You're pretty much ready to go. Now what you'll also find in your package is a cloth and as I said the plastic tape. In some arenas what we like to do is on the clamps in the back we wrap this around just to make that a little bit more protective. 
Uh, we found that with this design 2.0, we don't have the clamps underneath that are pretty dangerous for the players. Uh, the clamps instead are on the back, but depending on how the configuration of the net is, you may want to use some of the cloth around the back just to protect it. And that's the whole scoop. We're ready to go out there and shoot.